All right, we're here with Danny Rivera. Danny, uh, it's your, I can't believe it. It's your fourth season in Pittsburgh. You're 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 a Yinzer now, aren't you? Yes, yes, actually. I actually really like Pittsburgh a lot right now. So uh, yeah, four years into this, you know, experience here as a, so a professional soccer player, playing for Bob Lilly all four years. What's it like? What's it like? You know, I watched you got joking around with a couple guys that have been teammates for a while, you know, Canardo and guys like that. But what's the experience like? Um, it's enjoyable. I think always uh, coming into training and, and, you know, there's a center around the team. Uh, Bob always has us going our, our, our best, you know. We, we're trying to get the right team for the weekend. I think pushing each other uh, on the ball and then off the ball, it's always uh, enjoying, you know. it's. Enjoying the view, enjoying enjoying the times, you know, the little plays. Bob comes in and just shows us how it's done, and, and it's just, uh, I think it's built up for, for what's to come. I think now it's four or five games into the season, and, and, and now we start to put things together and, and just keep training and getting better. So it's enjoyable, and, and, and it's a tough tough thing to do when, when you know, you come from these tough games that we just had, but yeah. all we can do is just train well, let's talk about you and your um, development as a player, you know, in college. We'll talk about a little bit your, your type of player you were before you came here. And then when you came here, what your, how you evolved as a player, because we've seen you play m so many positions, especially the last couple of years. Um, it's been an interesting process. I think it's been enjoyable. But uh, I used to play midfielder in, in college. I played uh, uh, anywhere around the midfield, mostly. But... Uh, Getting here and, and you know you just want to get a chance to get out there, uh, have the team to get the points and, and, and the beginning just started in the left and, and, and guys you know you get to know guys like R J and Jordan Dover when they were here, uh, they had already played football for a while they had already been established here and, and talking with them and learning from them was enjoyable and and just keep pushing you know always stay true to I, I will do my work I'll put in my work and it'll pay off. Um, and now I've been in the left, I've been in the right, uh, I've been a little bit back in the midfield, so it's mm -hmm. enjoyable too. But at the end of the day, just you just want to make sure everyone in training it, it's ready for, you know, not even just me, any position. We have, uh, I think, a good squad that uh, could stand up in different positions, different formations. And, and I think it's just about being ready for the Saturday. You know, I think uh, we train, we do things right and being ready at the end of the day you, you want to be in the starting 11 in, in, in the 18 you just want to be able to help the team especially when it's at home you know yeah. that game at home it doesn't compare to anything it feels like that extra player out there you know with your defense and, and it's a very good feeling so it's enjoyable throughout the years now um it's hard to say a favorite position <laughs> now because uh we're playing a different formation, but it's very enjoyable to to have that trust from Bob more than anything. That know that I can get the job done, whatever it is, and and, 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 and help the teams. You know, guys that are also playing in a new position, asking me, oh, how is this or that, and being able to um, guide them, help them, and support them because that's why we're together. You know, we want to get the wins, and that's the only way to do it. I think. Yeah, absolutely, it's almost you know you definitely have a veteran presence now on this team. You got guys that are, you know just coming out of college that was like four years ago for yes. you but um but I, I did want to ask you about this past weekend you know just the rigors of playing two games in four days on the road all that travel first of all how are you how are you holding up and how's the team holding up um going uh across the country was uh something interesting actually uh in the past four years i've been here we actually didn't really play the west right. so it was interesting for everyone i think uh it also helped with some chemistry. You know, when we're alone, we're, we're mm -hmm. away for almost six, seven days in the mm -hmm. road. Uh, we get to, you know, uh, get to know each other a little bit more and, and, and still train. Uh, I think we obviously didn't get the results we wanted, but like everything, there's positives and negatives. I think we uh, did some great things in, uh, in Cincinnati. It wasn't the right result. And and then Vegas was also a different game, a different environment, a lot of new things. Yeah. Uh, could have done better. Yeah, like mattresses on the field. Yes, and yes. What, what was uh, going on? That I, Weird atmosphere, it, wasn't yes, it? Yes, yes. Uh, but it's always good to see that, you know, being around. And, and it also helps you to, you know, know that what you have to stay focused on. The, the game is coming. And uh, we needed that game. And something we've always built here, you know, we don't lose two games in a row, especially in the league. So uh, I think it would be nice to come back home and, and, and to have a point to prove. I think it's very important for us. And 
that's what's in our minds right now. We take it game by game, and this road trip, uh, uh, we learn a lot from ourselves and, and from our opponents, and I think we're just gonna keep getting better from now on. And last, uh, you just kind of alluded to the game on Saturday, being back home, how much you enjoy that. You also see uh, Robbie Mertz again uh, for Atlanta United too. Uh, you played him last year. Just your thoughts on him as a teammate and as a player. I Robbie is a great player, a great person. I think uh, I've always wished him the best. Uh, but he also knows once the game starts, when it's 11-11, it's, it's, it's good to have him back. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he, he was a great person, uh, a great player when he was in the team. And we learned a lot together. We had some... Uh, some great times, some tough times, and, and that's what it's all about. So happy to have him back, but he knows once they get here, it'll be a very good uh, opposition to have and a good game for us to have at home. I think we have to prove a point and we're ready for it. All right, Danny, thank you. It was great to talk to you today and good luck on Saturday. Thank you. All right, thanks.